Could I, it be? I thought it was more than that, but um, but the point is here, Bill. Okay, here's what it is. Okay, so once again, Bill, you're more about what is said than what is done. Okay, there's pork, hundreds of billions in pork for years and years and years, and then someone says, I'm not going to have pork. And then he's like, oh, he said there wasn't pork, so he's bad because he had pork, although for the last six years, same thing was happening, oh, seven, eight God, years. Got it on it. Hope and change stuff that we're not going to do stuff the same way anymore. Well, guess what? It's the same. Bill, John, it's not the same. Bill, there's a there's the worst financial crisis in our lives. That's it, true, John. But it's did Bush true. have to deal with that? Did not. did Bush? Oh my God! Did anybody else have to deal with that, Bill? Uh, no. I think times are different. Under whose watch did this happen, John? Democratically controlled Congress or Republican? It started well before this administration. That's true. It started in the Clinton administration. I'm with you, Kathy. There we go. There we go. That, that one wasn't good. This this ain't going anywhere fast. Um, what do you think about Governor Sanford? Do you think he should be able to keep his job with his um, indiscretions that he's recently have come to public? I don't want to pass judgment on his behaviors. And I don't know the facts. I don't know if any of us know the facts about what his inappropriate behaviors were as far as using public funding. But if he did use public funding for anything personal, I absolutely think he should be fired on the spot. Okay, Let, let's put it forward then. What if it's just on, let's assume, and I don't think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that anybody has come out that he's actually done anything where they would say he's pilfered public money or used public money for any of these trysts he's had. Okay, let, and I think we should give him benefit doubt on those. Without those, is there any right for him to have to resign, or any right for the people to call for his resignation if he's done, no, if he has maintained fiduciary responsibility, Governor? So if someone is potentially using public funds to do something personal, why don't we know? Why is that stuff not tracked, Governor? Well, Kathy, then how did Elliot Spencer get the whack? Because he wasn't using any of the state of New York's money either. He just built. That, 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 you know what? As much as maybe what he did was stupid and all, he, he just did the right thing. He did the classy thing. He said, you know what? I have lost the respect of the voters. I have lost any trust. No one's going to believe a word I say. I, I have just violated everything. He came in as the white horse, the, the, the knight on the white horse. He was you know, going to clean everybody up. He was the, what do they call him, the uh, Knight of Wall Street or, or whatever it was he was called. And so he went and he left. He could, Bill, he could have easily sat right there and fought it and he would still be our uh, a governor today if he wanted to be. He chose, the, the, as much as you hate to say it, the classy way out. He said, okay, I, I, can't, I can't govern. I've got to leave. That's what happened with him. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. And probably be cheating on his wife, and he chose to leave office. Well, what I'd say here, Kath, is, you know, cheating on his wife, you know, that, that I don't know if that's, you know, grounds for uh, being kicked out. But ethically, what he did, you know, he, he lied. He said, I am hiking the AT, the Appalachian Trail. He was in Argentina. H how can you reconcile that? How can anybody trust this guy ever again? He, he, he lies where he is. No one knows where he is. He was, you know, in another country. He could have been gone, dead. No one would have known. Ethically and, and trustworthily, he, he needs to, he should have resigned. This was, he should have resigned for the good of South Carolina. South Carolina is the joke state of the union right now. And until he resigns, it will continue to be. That's why. Maybe realistically and legally, maybe not. And, you know, there are, they are filing a bunch of different types of ethic charges and stuff like that. But realistically, as a man, he should resign. I, I agree. He's not doing his job. Public trust. No, yes. They've broken the public's trust. Yes. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying... That's what that John's saying. Yeah, I, no, that's what I'm saying. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is that he wasn't doing his job because he wasn't available to the public. That too, right. Well, I say that Mark Sanford is 
he expressed, he showed such horrible judgment in yeah. making believe he's hiking the Appalachian Trail. Instead, he's in Argentina. Like John says, anything bad could have happened during that time. Nobody would ever even known he's out of the country. His judgment was so bad on that. But you know, that's what happens to people sometimes when they're they're thinking the wrong way. So um, I, I think the people of South Carolina need to make that judgment if it's important enough for them or not. And but I don't think they should legally be able to have him to impeach him. But that's what I don't understand because if you're not doing your job. Why is not? Why don't you think it's legal to fire someone? Well, if he if he was on official vacation, if he was officially not on the job that minute, then I don't see the he he was doing his job. Okay, okay, okay. So sorry. So what if Obama did the same thing? He does right now. No, <laughs> oh, Bill, jeez. He's a rock star. He just works in the country. He doesn't do his job ever, Kathy. Uh, I, I'd say for the person, somebody needs to explain to him, Barack, you're not running for office anymore, okay? Get down to the job. Let's get this stuff squared away. No, I don't think so. Hey, Glenn, so, back. I mean, Bill. Is this Glenn back or Bill? <laughs> Bill, I, I thing is, is, I don't see any of that stuff you're talking about. I don't well, see. Well, you know, John, because you have on those rosy colored blinders. Yeah, and you have on those glasses, the the party of no glasses that they hand out to you guys at your at your tea bag parties. John, I'm telling you, last time, uh, last show we talked about, and you basically said, "Look, he can do the job from Air Force One. He can do the job from when he's done drinking margaritas with his buddies or whatever. He can do his job." John, you talk about judgment. He went and slammed that poor police officer in Quincy, Massachusetts, with no backup, no information, nothing. You know what it was? He was being the rock star. Hey, I'm who I am, so whatever I say goes. Just because I say it is going to make it true. So he, he doesn't have his hand on the throttle at all. Yeah, you're He's right. He's winning it by the seat of his pants. He stayed at a Holiday Inn last night, from what I understand. <laughs> so that makes it right. Yeah, you're or, right. Or, or, or he has farmer's insurance, one of the two. Yeah, yeah. It's, I guess you're right, Bill. I guess, you know, by him uh, mocking that guy, that was that was probably on a par with uh, a few thousand uh, Americans dead in Iraq, a trillion dollars in debt on the Iraq war, and 150,000 dead Iraqis. It's probably equal to him making fun of a cop. All right. John, you got it. You're right. We should make the connection. We went from governor. You're right. For getting some in Argentina. You're right, Bill. To Obama being a rock star, not doing his job, to all the dead in Iraq. No, and you're you're saying we should get rid of uh, that. Obama can't handle the job because he he mocked a uh, a Cambridge police officer. No, but we were supposed to. Is, yeah. Okay. What I'm saying is he's not paying attention to the decision he's making. Do you think any any of his advisors? Would have said, I think this is what you ought to do. How many people stood behind him, other than the fact he was a president, over that Cambridge police thing? How about this, Anybody? Bill? Anybody? Bill, do you know what? You know what? He went and he did backtrack and you know had his little beer summit there. Thing is, if Bush had made the same call, he would not have backtracked at all. He would have stuck to his guns, regardless if it turns out that the, the, the that professor had come outside and swung an axe at him. Please. That's why we keep blaming Bush. He, he's such a freaking breath of fresh air compared to the Bush White House. It's unbelievable. I know, but John, my point is, just because he's not Bush, that's your brother. Well, he's not Bush, that means he's got to be better. No, Bush was your, Bill, Bush is the hero. Bush is the neocon hero of everybody. No, he's not. Bill, what, you, what, what everybody had to bite their tongue for? got in. Was, there were so many people so disenchanted with Bush. Yeah, you guys put him in. You kept voting Bush for him. Yeah, Billy got in. They kept voting for him. 